guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a local music player so that when a player joins a game, they can mute it and it plays a series of songs. So, let's get started. <laughs> to insert a screen GUI into starter GUI. And then we're gonna insert a sound into uh, the screen GUI as long, uh, along with a text button and with a local script. I'm just going to edit my uh, text button. So I'm gonna put the position to zero comma zero comma zero point three comma one and then the size to 85 and then 50 there so now we can do this so we can oops let's actually put it back um and then why we put it okay so you may be wondering why don't we just drag it over here so say if you wanted it down here and okay so there's a c tiny problem with this so you can go into this right here and it emulates um, where things are gonna go. So it kind of shows you where it's gonna be on mobile and tablet. And you can see it goes in different places. But if you just drag it, say if you want it to go right here. Okay, on the phone, let's go back to the iPhone. It's gonna be half covered. So you need to have it in special position. So if you keep it here, then it's gonna stay there on every single device. So that's why we use positions um, and size. So then I'm just gonna make my background color black and my text color uh, white and make it text scaled true and maybe use cartoon for the uh, text. And uh, yeah, may you can customize it to whatever you want. But what we are going to name the text is mute. So let's just go like that. And uh, now we can start scripting it. Okay, so open up the local script and we're gonna do local music. Um, and then we're gonna equal that to, uh, uh, and we're gonna put these curly braces. Now in here, you're going to put all your music IDs that you want. So I already have mine picked, but I will show you how to get them. The first thing you're going to do is go into the Create tab up here, and then you're going to go to Library, and then you're going to go down to Audio, and then you're going to select any music you want. Let's go. So, uh, let's see. We'll do this one, and how you pick it is you just click on it, and you just uh, get this ID right here, and then you copy it, and then you put it into... Uh, this here but i've already got my four so um yeah you can just do that with all the ones that you want to have in your game and now we're going to make a variable called local sound equals script dot parent dot sound so trying to get this right here yes. and then we're going to do local muted equals false and now we're going to do a while loop so we're going to do while true do and it should add it in automatically end in this uh, end for us. It should put in the end for us. And then in here, we're going to do a for loop. So for i equals 1, and then hashtag uh, music uh, do. Oh, we might need a comma here, I think. Yep. And then and we're going to do sound dot, dot sound id. So like that. Equals rbx uh rbx asset id um, and then colon and then two forward slashes and then dot dot music and then in square brackets we're going to do i and then we're going to do wait three seconds and then we're going to do sound colon play and then we're going to do wait and then we're going to do sound dot time length and that will finish it up for the script so we can close it out and now we can go into the text button and add in another script local script 
and we can do local sound equals script dot parent dot parent dot uh, sound and then we are going to do local muted equals false and then we're going to drop a few lines and we're going to do script dot parent dot mouse button one click colon connect and then a function in there then we're going to do if uh, muted then sound dot value uh, sound dot volume equals 0 0.3 and then we're going to also do muted equals false and then we're going to do script dot parent dot text dot uh, equals and then we're going to do mute and then we're going to do an else so uh, go else sound dot uh, volume equals zero muted equals true and script dot parent dot text equals unmute and that should finish it up so let's go back here and let's go into uh the game as you can see it works so so and if we click it you can hear nothing and we click it again and you can hear the sound so if you did like this video please make sure to like and subscribe and uh, we'll have more tutorials coming soon so and we'll see you in the next video